Hello. Um, so today I am officially going to launch my first official fundraiser. Um, if you have already donated, please stay tuned because this applies to you. Uh, I'm not leaving you hanging. And yeah, so I'm going to get into it. So um, like I said in my last video, I'm starting to apply to agencies once I'm signed up with agencies and I'm live. I mean, it could be weeks, it could be months, it could be a couple of years um, before I get matched or connected with an expected mother. So once that happens, though, that's when all of the like crazy expenses come up. And those expenses are probably going to be in the range of forty to fifty thousand dollars, based on what I've seen from the agencies I've talked to thus far. So far, I have raised um, a little over twenty thousand dollars, which is insane. Um, between money that I've obviously contributed and then also money that I've gotten um, from donations, it's just holy cow. That's, that's a lot of money, but I still need a lot of other money. And one of my goals is to make it through this process without having to take out a loan. That's the goal. Um, so this fundraiser is called a puzzle piece fundraiser, and it is a pretty common fundraiser for adoptive families to do. I think the dogs are wrestling in the other room. So if you hear any like grunting, that's what's happening. Um, so how this typically works is usually a family will get a puzzle made with a picture of the family on the puzzle and then they sell puzzle pieces and you write the names on the back of the puzzle piece that you sold and blah 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 which is an adorable idea i absolutely love it a couple of things i don't necessarily need to do a puzzle of my face um and then two all the names are on the back and you can't like see it. And that to me is like the thing that means the most. So I found this um, artist on Etsy. She does adoption art and she made a poster with puzzle pieces on it. So I will be selling puzzle pieces and I all the names are gonna be like the artwork. And then once all my puzzle pieces are filled out, I'll frame it and hang it up and it'll be an awesome reminder of all of the amazing and generous and kind people that I know I've like rambled on about a bajillion times and will continue to ramble on about a bajillion times because like I there's no way I could get through this without everyone's support like seriously so um I've got my prop here uh, here's my poster. See all these cute little puzzle pieces. There are some names on there already for like my parents and my nieces and my nephew and my sister-in-law. My brother hasn't signed it yet because he was stuck working in Atlanta, so he hasn't had a chance to pick his puzzle piece. So if you would like a puzzle piece, step one, you need to make a donation. So um, I am not going to set a minimum donation like the cross the crochet stuff is different because I put a lot of like time and effort into like making those things by hand. This I'm not making anything. I'm just writing your name on there to show that you supported my cause. So there's no minimum donation. Um, you can send me a check. You can give me cash. You can send me Venmo, money through Venmo. You could um, make a donation on my Adopt Together page. Whatever works for you is totally cool. If you are a person that has already donated, obviously I'm not gonna stop you from donating again. However, if you don't wanna donate again or you're not in a place to donate again, that is totally cool. Um, just tell me what puzzle piece you would like and I will reserve that puzzle piece for you. So that is step one, make just a donation. Um, I guess minimum is $1. Um, step two, tell me which puzzle piece you would like. I will try to post a diagram of the, like the 
thing and I'll mark out which ones have already been chosen and you just tell me which one that you would like. Um, and then step three is to sign your puzzle piece. So if you are a person that lives very far away and I will probably not see you and you just want me to write the name on there, that's totally fine. Just tell me what name you would like to put on there or if you're like, want to just say like the so-and-so family, that's cool too. Um, or I'll just like reserve that piece and then I'll bring the poster with me if I'm, I know I'm going to see you and then you can sign it. I would really rather have other people sign it um, just because that adds a little bit more flavor to it. You get to see like all the individual signatures and I'm just really excited about it. Um, yeah, so that is the fundraiser, is my puzzle piece fundraiser bringing the pieces of my family together um and all that jazz and it's a, it has on the bottom it says it takes a village which is kind of like my mantra through all of this because like it seriously takes a village to to go through this whole process and and everything yes so thank you to everyone that has oh my gosh thank you to everyone that's already donated thank you to everyone for all of the support, just financially, emotionally, everything. It really, it really means a lot. And all of the encouragement and kind words, like this is, it's kind of a long process and it's taking me a while and, um, and it's really super terrifying, but very exciting, but like really terrifying. <laughs> um, so thank you to everyone for just, you know, for all of the things. And I will try to keep you guys updated. And if you have any questions about the fundraiser, um, just let me know. I hope you all have a great day. Bye-bye.